interested in getting tickets to a concert or sporting event, use SeatGeek and get $20 off on your next purchase with promo code OVERSPORTS. That's O-B-E-R-S-P-O-R-T-S, OVERSPORTS. What's going on, guys? Jacob Ober here. So, the Packers just made a mid-season free agent acquisition. Not something we're very used to seeing the Green Bay Packers do, but... Uh, today they are at least in the process of finalizing a deal with uh, former Cowboys linebacker Jalen Smith. He was released last night by the Cowboys. He is a Pro Bowl linebacker. He was a Pro Bowler back in 2019. Um, and the Packers are presumably adding him to add depth to their uh, thin uh, inside linebacker core. Uh, obviously, uh, De Devondre Campbell for the Packers has been a big surprise at how good he's been so far this season. But behind him, the Packers are pretty thin. Uh, Oren Burks and Ty Summers are the only two other options at inside linebacker, and they have not been very impressive so far. So the Packers thought it would be best suited to go out on the market and find a guy who has had success in the past. Uh, not to say that he's the same player as he once was. He's lost a bit of a step, uh, Jalen Smith, but he is still a smart football player. He's a a uh, pretty good run stopper uh, when he's able to actually get to the running back. Um, I did watch a little bit uh, of his highlights of his film, and yeah, he's definitely lost a, a bit of a step uh, in the past few years. He's not as explosive as he once was, but he's still, you know, definitely a better option than Oren Burks or Ty Summers at inside linebacker, and, you know, utilized in the correct way, he could definitely uh, be a nice replacement uh, for either of those players and fit, fit in nicely alongside Devondre Campbell. Uh, but overall, you know, I, I like that the Packers are making this signing. You know, I don't know exactly what the details are going to be on it. I do know that the uh, Cowboys are going to be paying most of his 2021 salary, so the Packers aren't really going to have to worry about money uh, with this signing. Uh, cap space is a bit of an issue for the Packers right now, and that's probably why they weren't able to go get Stephen Gilmore or Stephon Gilmore. Uh, who was traded for uh, by the Panthers for a sixth-round pick earlier today, who had been on the Green Bay Packers' radar. Uh, of course, we have the injury to Jair Alexander that's kind of, uh, you know, really up in the air right now. Nobody really knows what's going on with that. Uh, the Packers did sign a cornerback earlier today. I think his name was Rasul Douglas. Uh, I'm not really too familiar with him, um, but the sound of it, he isn't really that. He hasn't really that been that impressive in his NFL career. He does have five career interceptions, but uh, the Packers certainly see that there are holes on their defense right now uh, that have been caused via injury, and they are trying to fill those holes, uh, knowing that this could very well be the last year that the Packers have a shot at the Super Bowl for at least a few more years uh, as they kind of retool and uh, reorganize things uh, after you know Rodgers or Adams potentially leave this off season. So uh, definitely can understand what the Packers are trying to do right now. They want to give themselves the best shot to win this season. And hopefully guys like uh, Rasul Douglas and uh, Jalen Smith can come in and uh, play a positive role on the Packers and help us, you know, get to that Super Bowl level. Uh, because right now, you know, the Packers have certainly looked impressive, uh, but there are certainly holes, especially on the defensive side of the football, uh, you know, with the injury to Jair, with the injury to uh, Zadarius Smith. Uh, that the Packers want to fill, and if neither of those players can get back this year, that which is a legitimate possibility with both uh, Zadarius Smith and Jair Alexander, then the Packers are going to be severely underhanded on the defensive side of the football. So hopefully these acquisitions can help lessen the blow for that, and uh, the Packers can get back on the right track. But anyways, guys, I just thought I would share that news with you. Uh, the Packers are signing uh, Jalen Smith, linebacker Jalen Smith, to... Uh, a deal that is still pending the details, but like I said, we do know that the Cowboys are going to be paying most of his salary for this season, so uh, we'll see how long this deal is. I'm going to assume it's going to be a one-year vet minimum, and then after that, the Packers can, you know, do what they want uh, with Jalen Smith, depending on how he does this season, but uh, hopefully he uh, uh, can show a little bit of the flashes that made him great uh, a few seasons ago, and, you know, maybe... Uh, get that speed back a little bit, hopefully. But um, anyways, guys, that's all i got to say in this video. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. How do you feel about these signings today by the Green Bay Packers? Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Go Pack Go!